everyone. Um, today I'm just going to show you a quick video on how to download XBMC, uh, which is the Xbox Media Center, onto your iDevice, and also all of the repositories um, that enable the video add-ons also that uh, come with it, without SSHing into your device. Uh, I know that can be a pain in the butt sometimes, and um, from, at least to my knowledge, uh, everybody who has a video on YouTube um, does it by SSHing, so this is for people who either don't know how to do that or think that that's a pain in the butt or whatever. So, uh, obviously the first thing you're going to need is a jailbroken eye device. Um, if you uh, don't have that, then I suggest watching a video on how to do it. It doesn't take very long, uh, especially if you're running um, iOS 5. Um, so, once you have a jailbroken eye device, you go into Cydia. And uh, once Cydia loads up, you go into your sources. The first thing that you need is the sinful iPhone repo, right here. Um, so if you don't have that yet, uh, in order to add new uh, sources, you up here on the top right where it says edit, and then on the left where it says add, and then you type in the URL of the source, which is underneath of it as you can see, sinfuliphonerepo.com. So just type that in and press add the source, and then um, just come back here really quick, and then you press that to go to its list of tweaks and apps and whatever else, and you go down to the eyes where it says iFile Cracked, that means that it's a free version of um, iFile, it still works the exact same, it's just you don't have to pay the five dollars. Um, and after that you go to edit and then add again and uh, type in this source and then press add source uh, team xbmc mirrors.xbmc.org slash apt slash ios add that source and then once you have that added you um, press the second one xbmc dash ios and then up here on the top right I've already have it installed so mine says modified so but it should say install if you don't have it yet so once you have those two things installed uh, as you can see right here xbmc and then also ifile um, the first thing in iFile, let me just go to my home really quick. The first thing is that to get the repo installer, um, I'll have the links in the description, so don't worry about that, but, um, also, uh, you open Safari on your iDevice, and in the uh, address bar, you type it in exactly the way I have it. I know, I know it's it kind of sucks you have to type it in one by one, but um, there's not a way that you can copy and paste it that I know of, since you're going to be using your iDevice. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to press it. And once you have that typed in exactly the way I have it, it's going to take you to this. And you just press open an iFile. And what that's going to do is once it opens an iFile, it's going to take you to your mobile documents. Now, in order to get to that in iFile, you just press var. This is the home menu. This is the first page of iFile. You just press var, mobile, documents. And that's it. And it's going to be the repo installer right there. Um, next, uh, the one thing that I noticed that um, doesn't come with the repo installer is FastPass TV, which for me is a must-have. So um, just type it in exactly the way that I have it. Um, once you do that, it's going to take you to this page. Once again, you just, uh, well, first it's going to actually say that the download is um, failed. And uh, it's going to restart the download. And once it restarts, it'll work. Okay, so... You just press the green download, and then you open it up in iFile. And that will open up under your VAR mobile documents as well. And then, last but not least, is NaviX. Now, when I downloaded NaviX, um, it didn't put it in my mobile documents. So if that happens to you, then I'll just show you how to fix that. It's very easy. Um, so type it in the way I have it. Open it up in iFile. Now, if it doesn't put it in your mobile documents. Say it, it puts it wherever else. 
Wherever it ends up putting it, you just take the zip file, you press and hold it until it says select, and then you press and hold it again until it says cut. Now, you press cut. I'll press done since I don't want to cut it. Now, once it's cut, you go to your main menu, go to var, mobile, documents, and you press, in the white space down here at the bottom, you press and hold it until it says paste, and you just paste it in there, and that's it. So once you have those three things uh, in your mobile documents, you're done downloading. You go to XBMC. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is go into settings down here on the bottom left. Go to add-ons. Install from zip file. Up top, home folder. Documents. Now the three things will be listed right there. Um, you just press them and um, one you just press them and go back in. It'll kick you out, I think. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, it kicks you out, but it'll say add-on enabled down here on the right. So Naviax is enabled, so you just go home folder documents, repo installer, enable that one, and then home folder documents, fastpass TV. Enable that. Once you enable those three things, you're completely done with FastPass TV and also NaviX now. So, FastPass TV, really quick, just to show you exactly what that is. Um, you go to my video add-ons, FastPass TV, and uh, we'll just go to all TV shows. Now, it's got, a, it's got about 1,450-something TV shows to choose from. It's a lot. It's going to take me a while to scroll here through here, so I'm not going to do it. But just to show you my my favorite TV shows that I was able to save, just some things like that. Um, so now that you have FastPass TV, you're done with that. Um, next, to exactly show you what NaviX is, you just go to Programs, and NaviX will be right here. You just press on it to open it up, and basically NaviX is its own uh, media portal and um, it, it's just not as organized in my opinion as XBMC but it, it has a lot of the same things like it has if you go to movies it has fast pass TV it has one channel um, it has its own live TV it has its own like live TV and sporting stuff um, it, you, to go back in, in Navi X you just with two fingers you press on the screen whoops Just keep going back. And then once you're at the main menu, you press the two fingers again and then go down to exit. So once you're done there, um, what I would recommend doing is in the bottom right, you have favorites. Um, in order to add things to your favorites, you just press them with two fingers. And mine's already in my favorites, so it says remove from favorites, but it should say add to favorites for you. Uh, now for the repositories, you just go to the repository installer. And here's a list of all the repositories that come with it. Um, there are four main ones that I recommend. Uh, you can you can download all of them and try out whatever you want, but um, the ones that I recommend are right here in Arkintosh Project. Um, download that one. That one has Ice Films. Blue Cops Repo has Hulu, the free cable, and also it has ESPN and NBA League Pass, but NBA League Pass is broken, and uh, I'm not sure when that's going to be fixed. Um, this is the one channel repository, and then the last one that I would recommend would be Max Musterman's add-on, which is um, Extreme and Sports Devil, and I'll give you a quick um, tutorial of everything. But um, anyway, once you have those uh, repositories installed, you go back to settings, and then go to add-ons, and then get add-ons. And all of your installed repositories will be in here that you have. Um, and then just one by one go into them and enable them. Video add-ons, channel uh, one channel, enable that. Enable everything you want to enable. Ice Films, Sports Devil, and then go to your, once everything's enabled it'll be in your video add-ons. Now if I go to, just a quick show you, uh, just a quick tutorial of ex exactly what Sports Devil is. Um, once I play something, uh, I'm going to lose... Um, I, my mic won't work anymore, basically. Uh, for whatever reason, that's how Display Recorder works. 
So um, I'm just going to show you. It has all the live sporting events that are on TV right now. It has streams too. Um, I like to use, personally, it, you have to go to uh, live sports. And then I like to use VIP box. And then you go to now playing. And uh, you'll see a list of streams. Um, well, let's watch baseball. That's probably the most popular thing in here. This looks like the only game that they have playing right now. You just press that. And like I said, I'm also going to give a tutorial really quick of um, one channel after we're done with this. And um, so yeah, but you won't be able to hear me talk.